What are you doing, Puff? Are you supposed to be up there? Probably not, Mommy. No, she's not supposed to be up there. Puff, Puff! Now oh, she's gonna ignore me. Come on, Sissy, let's get down. Let's get down. Oh, I gotta get those nose boogies first. Come on, there we go. Get down. Good girl. Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back, if you're not new. Um, today, I'm making apple cider. I know it's kind of random, like I usually don't do cooking videos. Um, I think the last time I cooked was at least a year ago, and I don't even know if you could see me while I was doing that. Um, and then I made an apple cider video before two three years ago where I tried to make it without a recipe and that turned out awful um, but I think I have it figured out now and I wanted to make it today because my fiance is actually allergic to cinnamon so pretty much all of the holiday foods that we would consider like as a staple um, he can't have and he never has had because of his allergy. Like yesterday, um, we made pumpkin pie and that was his first time ever having it. We used um, a pumpkin that we had got as for decoration um, that, you know, it's switching over to Christmas time so we decided to bake it so as not to waste it. Um, and then the rest that we didn't use got fed to the pig. So, yeah. Uh, today I'm going to show you a recipe, um, a more traditional way of making apple cider, but uh, also going to tell you some quicker easier ways that you can get this done if you don't have the time or you don't want to spend the time letting this cook all day first thing i'm gonna do is just chop up my apples i have five um not sure what these are <laughs> apples i'm pretty sure they came from an orchard that's local but um i can't remember what they're called I'm gonna go ahead and like scoop the the core pieces out like with the seeds in them um you don't necessarily have to scoop them out and really if you're not that worried about them you could just leave them in and just make sure you strain it if any seeds pop out but um I just don't want to take the risk and also the seeds have cyanide in them so I'm not really sure if it's a good idea to let them stew for hours and like I said like we have a we have a pig so none of this is gonna go to waste if um, if I wasn't making cider he would be getting fed apples which I left some out for him on the table um, to take to him later but if you don't have a pig which I feel like is most of the people who are watching this video um, and you just need a way to get rid of a bunch of apples this is kind of the perfect thing um, just because like you cut them up, put them in the crock pot with water and spices, and you just leave it to sit. Um, and you can kind of just forget about it for a few hours before it's done. But if you don't want to make um, make it in a crock pot and have to wait, like if you don't have that time or you just like really want apple cider right now, um, something you can do, which is obviously cheating by a lot, but I'm also kind of cheating today. Um, you can just take some apple juice and then whatever spices you have on hand that you want to put into the cider. If you want to, you can add like a squeeze of orange juice into it. If you don't have a real orange, then just use regular orange juice. Um, but just zap this in the microwave for a few minutes until it's hot and you just have a quick apple cider. It obviously isn't going to be as good as making it, but um, I've done that a few times before, so... So the next thing to add is an orange, which I'm pretty sure this is usually um, considered an optional step, uh, but I like the flavor it adds, so I'm gonna do it. Um, this particular recipe that I'm like basing this on called for one large orange, and I don't have a whole orange, I actually just have like the butt pieces of a bunch of oranges because um, my fiance and I uh, used um, the ones that these came from, we dried them to use as like decorations on the tree, um, which you'll see in another video. And the oranges that were left over from when we did that, we used the rest of them to make palmander, 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 I have no idea how to say it, but these things, I'll 
put a picture up of them on the screen. Um, but I'm just squeezing this, like the juice into the to the crock pot with the apples. I don't want to turn the camera towards it because I'm afraid that it'll um, squirt out. And I don't want to have to try to clean my lens today. So I'm just going to go ahead and use all of these. Um, but like I said, you can use um, as much or as little as you'd like, even if that includes none. If you don't have fresh oranges, you can use uh, orange juice. Um, but if you do use like pre-made orange juice or apple juice, um, you'll just have to like kind of check with yourself um, for your taste how sweet you want it to be uh, because like a lot of fruit juices have that added sugar and this recipe also calls for actual sugar to be put in it so you just have to kind of play around with the taste to figure out what's sweet and what's too sweet what's not so now that like the the fruits are in there the crock pot's looking pretty full and I can, I can turn to show you now that I'm done juicing um, so even if I would have done this recipe the um, completely traditional way um, I wouldn't have been able to actually fit it into my crock pot because it called for 10 apples instead of 5 but I will show you why I decided not to use all 10 because I'm cheating. I showed this earlier when I mentioned, and I guess maybe some people may have figured out that I'm also going to use it for mine. Um, but usually you would cover this up with water, um, like until the fruits are under it. Um, but I, I mean, I had 10 apples, but some of them are going to go to the pig, and then some of them I just like to eat apples, so I didn't want to put all of them in here. Um, so I'm going to cover them with apple juice and if I need to I'll throw in a little bit of water but I don't think I need to because I have quite a bit left and I'm actually going to go ahead and turn the crock pot on to low. Um, I may have to add some water eventually but right now it's so full that I don't want to um, add more for risk of uh, like boiling it over but this is also a good way to get rid of some apple juice if you're not really an apple juice drinker. I am not. I bought this to make um, homemade caramel apple spices. I'm um, like you get at Starbucks. I've been using it to make those because they're my favorite fall drink next to pumpkin spice. And I'm gonna turn you guys again so you can see. Well, there's Amelia. Hey, Amelia cat. You need to get down, sissy. Okay, so I got mortar and pestle. Um, Obviously, a lot of people don't have these. Um, if you don't and you want to use whole um, spices, you can use um, a blender if you're patient enough. Um, I mean, they make actual spice grinders. Um, and then also you can use a coffee bean grinder on the fine setting if you're wanting to get it to a powder. Um, I actually prefer to work with whole spices for things like these just because the powder doesn't dissolve and so it um, it kind of bothers my throat when drinking it if there's like a lot of powders in it um, although I am going to be kind of a hypocrite because I think three or four out of however many spices I'm putting into this are in fact um, powdered so I'm going to start with the whole stuff first that needs to be kind of crushed up a little bit um, and then we'll add those in I have some allspice berries. Um, I don't know if you can actually find these in store. Um, I had to get these from like a specialty store in my hometown. Um, and then I have whole cloves. The allspice, you can, you can find it usually ground in stores, but it's usually not actual allspice. It's like a bunch of spices blended together. Um, so it's a completely different thing. And these these cloves, um, they're supposed to be whole, but these are um, the kind of bits that we had left over from making the pomanders. If I can get it to zoom in in there. So it's already kind of crushed up, and I'll probably just dump these in there um, because I don't want them to get to a powder. Cloves are really strong, so I'm going to be kind of light with it. Yeah, that looks good. Um, but with the allspice, my, my goal is just to break the berry 
um, just to kind of release some of the flavor a little bit and get it in there. It's probably like maybe a teaspoon of berries in there. Show you just a little bit. Now, if you are going to use a mortar and pestle for this, you have to be careful because sometimes the berries will shoot out at you um, when you try to crush them, but I'm just going to try to like put my hand over it. There we go. There are a few whole berries left in here, but most of them have cracked open, um, so I'm going to go ahead and put these in here as well. So cloves and allspice. Um, Cloves are considered optional usually for um, apple cider, I believe. But I, since we're not using cinnamon, I kind of want to add as much like extra as I can. But one that also usually goes in there is nutmeg, and I'm gonna get about a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Um, two things left that I would like to add which I'm pretty sure neither of these are traditional for apple cider. But like I said, I want to kind of, um, this recipe is called for like a whole tablespoon of cinnamon, so I kind of want to um, add in some extra spices rather than just make one spice like the most prevalent. So I'm going to add in like the tiniest bit of ground ginger and then some ground cardamom as well. So like, that's how much I'm going to... We're not going to focus. Yeah. It's tiny, like not even a half teaspoon of ginger. I'm going to do like a heaping teaspoon and like another kind of big teaspoon of the cardamom. Let's see if I can use this tiny spoon to stir it up. Just kind of move the spices around. The cooking time for this depends on um, what you're cooking it in. If you're doing this on the stove top, which you can, um, you'll want to bring it to a boil and let it um, boil for a while until the apples start getting soft um, and then you'll strain them and everything. But since I'm doing it in a crock pot, I'm going to keep it on low just to make sure I don't scorch the apple juice um, since I used it instead of water. But um, you just kind of have to check it. I'll probably check mine about every hour to see how it's coming along, give it a stir. And once the apples start getting soft, um, I'm going to take them out because I don't have a fine of enough strainer to, like, actually strain them. I'll try to get down here so you can see my face and not just my boobs. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to take them out and honestly probably just eat them as a snack. That sounds kind of gross. Um, they just be like applesauce but chunky. Which also sounds gross but yeah. So I will see you guys in an hour or whenever I decide to update. Um, and the oranges as well. I'm probably not going to keep in there very long. Oh, somebody's come to say hello. It's Puff. Puff. You don't need up there. Come on sweetie. Oh, I know. Yeah, like I said, the girls, anytime I'm doing something, they think they gotta be right there. Oh, are you being camera shy? Okay. So it's been an hour now. Just gonna give everything a stir. Um, I did decide to put it up on high. Um, but I, I kept an eye on it just to make sure nothing was getting burnt. Um, it looks like the apples are still pretty much intact, um, but I am going to go ahead and take out all of the orange slices. It tastes really good. Like, it already, I mean, um, if you were using water, I don't think you would, um, have the taste already from just an hour, but since there's apple juice in there, it, it tastes wonderful right now, and I don't think I'm going to have to add sugar, but... Uh, I'm going to add, add a little bit of water to cover these up more, and then I'll be back in another hour. So this has been going, this has been going for um, two hours now, 
So, give it another stir. It smells so good. And the water looks like it's the oh right boy. color for cider. Um, apples are starting to feel a little soft, but I think I think that they can stay in for like maybe another hour. Um, and then I think after this next hour, hopefully it'll be done. Uh, because I kind of got a later start to this and I really want to be able to post this like um, in time for Vlogmas. So I'll just start another timer. It's still on high and it's not like boiling or and it doesn't smell like it's burning or anything. So I'm just going to keep it on high. Um, cook it for hopefully just another hour and then we will have some apple cider to drink. While I wait for the next hour, I'm just going to have a slice of the pumpkin pie I made last night. I didn't heat it up or anything, which, is that gross to people, like, eating cold pie? Oh god, I almost dropped it. Um, let me know. This is closer than you ever needed to be to my face, but here we are. So, I've already taken all of the apples out, so we're just left with the cider. Um, there's a few little, like, pieces of apple, like you can see right there, um, that are still in it. Not really many. Um, doesn't bother me. Like I said, I don't really have a strainer that I can use to get them. Um, but yeah, I have my fiance come in here and get some glasses and have some cider. How much do you want? Like a whole glass? Mm, half a glass. Okay. Oh god. I spilled some. It looks like cider. Is that enough? Mm -hmm. Here. Uh, that'd be kind of hot. It's not. Oh, that's good. Well, I mean, the idea is that the glass is thick enough. But... Wait, stay in here. Okay. You gotta tell me how it is. You have to give me a review. A review? A review, yeah. Of my culinary skills. It's too hot to drink right now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Should I do a mug too? Yeah. Okay. I might get a different cup for the thumbnail, but. Mm -hmm. Tastes like apples. <laughs> Tastes like apples. Mm -hmm. I think it's like a little sweet. Like, even for me. But that's probably just because I use like pre-made apple juice in it. Mm -hmm. But if I would have done it like the real, real way, it would still be cooking. Like I could have kept cooking this for a while because the apples aren't even completely mush yet. But we don't have a fine enough strainer to get them back out if they get to that state. So. Sure. Need a strainer and cheesecloth for that. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. 